You love playing Zenyatta and want to climb faster on the ladder. How you use your Orb of Harmony and Orb of Discord has a big impact on whether you will win or lose a team fight. Today we are talking about how to use your orbs to help you climb in the ranks. My name is Greg Gowdy and welcome to your world of gains. Zenyatta is a unique hero because he is labeled as a support but can deal as much or more damage than a DPS if you are good at his kit. Speaking of this, if you haven't already, check out my other videos on Zenyatta to help you improve your gameplay with this hero. In my other videos, I've talked about how to improve your positioning, ult usage, and your aim with Zenyatta. Today's focus is on the last component of Zenyatta's kit, which is his Orb of Harmony and Orb of Discord. Before we get into my tips on the usage of these abilities, let us dive into the stats of these abilities while also comparing them to some of the other support heroes. Looking at just Zenyatta's orb healing since we covered his transcendence last week, this is one ability compared to other healers that puts Zenyatta closer to the bottom when it comes to healing output. Zenyatta's orb of harmony heals at 30 health points per second. Mercy can heal at 50 health points per second. Lucio with his passive heal can heal at 16 health points per second or 50 health points per second while being amped. Moira with her biotic grasp can heal at 80, or with her biotic orb can heal at 75 health points per second. Anna with one dart can heal 70 health points. Brig heals at 16.67 health points per second with her inspire, and when Baptiste goes live, he will be able to heal at 60 health points per launcher, or 30 health points per second with his regenerative burst. The orb of harmony can be placed only on one teammate at a time. Because of this, it's essential to know what teammate and when to place it on them to have maximum impact during the game, which is what I will be getting into later in this video. Your teammate must be in line of sight for you to place the Orb of Harmony on them, and they must be within 40 meters, which is a good amount of distance, and even though you will usually be on the back line, you will be able to place it on your front line easily. But if you have heroes on your team that dive or flank, you might not always be able to give them your Orb of Harmony. The Orb of Harmony will stay on your teammate if you lose line of sight with them for a duration of 3 seconds. After that, the orb will return to you. If they are always in line of sight, it will stay on them unless you give it to someone else. This is awesome because Zenyatta is one of the few support heroes that has the ability to heal a teammate out of line of sight. The Orb of Harmony also can be placed through an enemy shield. Now a quick look at the Orb of Discord. It is very similar to the Orb of Harmony in the sense that you must be in line of sight of the enemy to place it on them. It cannot be placed on an enemy when there is a barrier between you and an enemy such as a Reinhardt shield or Winston bubble. You must be within 40 meters to place the Discord Orb on an enemy. This is sometimes a challenge because you are usually on the back line. It is sometimes difficult to place the orb on the enemy you want to place it on because they are too far away. The Discord Orb will stay on the enemy as long as you are in line of sight. If the orb is placed on an enemy before a barrier goes up, it will stay on them unless a Zarya uses her barrier and that will remove the Discord. Also, Moira's Fade, Reaper's Wraith, Sombra's Translocate, and Trace's Recall will remove the Discord from them. The Discord will also be removed during Doom Fist and Diva's ult. Alright, the key feature of the Discord Orb is that whoever it is on, it increases the damage that enemy receives by 30%. On the PTR right now, the Discord Orb is being nerfed by 5%. So that change will happen if it goes live, but whether it is 30 or 25%, it is still a powerful ability. For example of how powerful the ability is, with Mercy damage boosting a Hanzo and a Discord Orb on a 200 health target, one body shot will kill that hero. With a 30%, this will also work with Widow and Junkrat and Pharah with a direct hit, but when the Discord gets nerfed, only Hanzo will be able to pull that off. It is getting nerfed to hopefully put an end to the GOATS meta. But why is it still a powerful ability even after being nerfed? Because the enemy receives that damage increase from all sources, not just from you. If you are shooting at them along with, say for example, your Tracer and Winston, they are taking 30% or possibly soon to be 25% more damage from all those sources. This is an amazing and a powerful ability in Zenyatta's kit and in the game. This is why Zen has been a crucial component of so many comps such as Dive Comp and currently with the Goats Comp. The only other heroes that have a similar ability are Mercy with her damage boost which increases the damage output by 30% but it isn't as powerful because if multiple targets are shooting at one target only 
the one that's getting damage boosted gets the 30% damage increase. Unless she's in Valkyrie, but they need to be all chained together. And now, Baptiste, when he becomes live, his ultimate will give 100% damage boost through his ultimate, which is ridiculous. But that will only be used a few times during rounds, unlike Zenyatta's Discord that has no cooldown. Okay, now that we understand what these abilities can do, let's talk about how to put them to practice so you will have the ability to influence and even carry team fights. What I've learned is that the Orb of Harmony and the Orb of Discord should usually be used in conjunction with one another. What I mean by this is that usually your Discord and Harmony Orb are very close together, healing and amplifying damage on the same targets. For example, if I know my Reinhardt is going up against another Reinhardt, I will Harmony my Reinhardt and give my Discord on the enemy Rhine or main tank so my Rhine has an advantage over the enemy. Another example is if my Winston or Genji dives in enemy backline, I will place my Harmony Orb baby. on my teammate diving and place the Discord Talk on the enemy that is being dove. This will ensure a quick elimination and my teammate is usually back to full health by the time they return to the team. The tip is to remember if there is a 1v1 going on, whether tanks, DPS, or support, Harmony your teammate and Discord the one they are fighting. This also goes for you. Discord anyone that flanks you and tries to 1v1 you. It will even sometimes deter the enemy from lingering. This is also helpful because when a teammate comes back to help and peel for you, you both will be able to manage the enemy flanker. And if you have used my aim guide, you will also be able to win those 1v1s more often. Now remember your Harmony Orb doesn't heal very quickly. It doesn't do bulk heals very quick like main healers do. For instance, if your Genji and Ryan are half health, which one do you think you should Harmony? I would place it on the Genji, he's usually by himself and more vulnerable, unlike your Ryan or main tank who can sit behind a barrier and get healed up faster from your main healer. Focus your orb on your teammate that is in the riskier position. So thinking about the last example, if the Genji and other teammates are safe but your Ryan is more vulnerable, place your orb on him. Your 30 health points per second healing might be the extra he needs to stay alive. Strive to always have your Harmony and Discord orbs on someone, even if everyone is healed up or the fight hasn't been started yet, place the orb on someone you think might need it first. When team fights are just about to start, I will usually place it on my main tank or on a DPS role if they are playing a dive character. As you go through your match, you will learn more about how your teammates operate and acquire better knowledge on how to use your orbs. If your DPS role is playing kind of passive and just trying to build up their ult and your main tank is aggressive, place it on your main tank. And vice versa if your tank is passive and your DPS is playing aggressive. Keep your eye out for your support. This probably should have been the first tip because I know what it feels like when the other healer on the team doesn't help me out. Use your Harmony Orb to top off the other healers so they don't have to use their abilities to heal themselves. An Ana Grenade is way too valuable to be used just on her to heal it herself instead of using it on her teammates and or enemies. Remember to place your Harmony and Discord Orbs before you use your ultimate because if you don't, they can't be placed and will have no value for 6 seconds, and that is valuable time during team fights. Your Discord Orb is to help your team do more damage, which if placed correctly, will sway more team fights in your favor, and we just talked about how to place your Discord Orbs, which will help your team know where to focus. Your Discord Orb also gives you wall hacks, because it stays on the enemy for 3 seconds, out of line of sight, that gives you knowledge where they are. You will have the ability to know if they are peeking, you can charge your right click and let it loose when they come around the corner, or you can tell your teammates where they are and they can finish them off. It's a very powerful tool. My last tip on where to place your discord is to place it on whomever your team is focusing. The discord orb gives you the Zenyatta player the mantle of target calling. I've shared my tips on how to know which targets to focus, but what if your team isn't responding to your discord placement? In that case, place it on the enemy hero your team is focusing. This is also a good tip if you don't know who you should focus on or target call. Just recognize where your team's attention is and place your harmony and discord orbs where the fight is going on. You are able to see the enemy's health bars. If you see one that is close to being done, throw it on them to make sure they are finished off. Speaking of shot calling, I do believe using the voice comms are beneficial. If you don't like chatting, that's fine. You don't have to say a lot. Just let your team know who you have placed the Discord on. Along the lines with communication, keep it simple, quick, and precise. Most players will say Ryan Discord or Genji Discord, and that is very helpful. I've started to use the word mark 
I learned it from Jane, the Dallas Fuel coach, in one of his streams, and he mentioned that a lot of the top tier players are using Mark instead of Discord, more often because it's quicker and one less syllable. I do think it's cool, but use whichever one you like. Alright my friends, thanks for watching. Comment below one tip that you think will help you with your orb placement. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It does mean a lot. If this content has been helpful, hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you will be notified when my next video goes live. I upload every week. If you are enjoying this content, consider following me on Twitch. My link is down below. I stream every Monday and Thursday night. I would love to interact with you more and have you join the community of the world of gains. I'm all about helping you get gains in the game, gym, and life. Seriously, thanks for all of my recent subscribers and followers. It really does mean a lot. I'll see you guys in my Twitch chat or in my next video. Until then, get after those gains. Run, Mark, run, Mark. Lit, lit, lit. May right side, may right side. And fire. Oh, yeah, yeah we, we just gotta watch out for Blossom. Reaper, Reaper, Reaper marked for our right. He's got Blossom. Nope, nice.